and it's time for another two minute top tip to help you make your difficult conversations less stressful and more successful. I've been asked by a head teacher in London, Sonia, when is the best time to have a difficult conversation? And if you're wondering the same thing, then you're going to love this top tip. So when is the best time? Well, put simply, never. There never is a good time to have a difficult conversation, but there are some guidelines that can help you find better times as opposed to worst. I'm gonna give you three guidelines to help you make what is at the end of the day a judgment call. The first is, if you can, and the situation allows, have the conversation at the time. There can be a real benefit to picking up on it there and then. That said, sometimes it is best to let the dust settle and that's why I'm talking about guidelines. The second is if you can have the difficult conversation later in the day so that someone doesn't need to carry it around in their head all day and do their job before they really get some space to think about what you said. It's not always possible but try and make it as late as possible. And the third is try to avoid having a difficult conversation on a Friday or close to a holiday. The reason being that actually you probably want to just touch base with that person a day or two after you've spoken just to see if they've got any further thoughts, see how they're getting on with the message you've delivered. Now, having said that, again, these are guidelines and I have seen people have difficult conversations on a Friday and actually it help. So treat these as principles, but certainly not rules. And you do need to gauge what you think is best for the situation and the person you're going to be talking to. If you find that you can give this tip a go, then do let me know. And if you've got a question for me so that I can help you have more successful, difficult conversations, then ask me at ukheadsup.com forward slash ask Sonia.